All right, uh, Voron VT, V2, or V0. How do we tighten the belts? It's all going to be basically the same. All right, so these are Rama idlers, BFI idlers, the V0s, back thing, majig, screw things, or the standard idlers. It's all going to be the same. You're going to... Let's assume this is the standard one. It's only got one screw, so you only one there. You know, Raman BFI got two. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this at 150, and so you can measure it from the front. From I would measure from like basically here, the end of your whatever the end stop's going to be. So that's like zero. So 150 is probably around about there. Measure that out. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take in all the slack because these belts are going to be loosey-goosey, right? So you're just going to snug it in till the slack's gone. Snug this one until the sl slack's gone. And then after that, you pick a side. I don't care which side. You do a half turn. Then you go over here. You do a half turn. And then a half turn. And then a half turn. And then after about a turn to a turn and a half, you'll come in. You'll use your... PF makes tool. This one's from West 3D, but he also sells it online. And you want to measure about 1.9 to 2.1 or 2. Or if you don't have this, suggest getting this. You can do the, this thing, go boing, or how's it go? Go boing, 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 right? You can do that all day long. You get that to about 110, 115 hertz on your favorite app. Uh, carbon app or the uh, easy tension and then after that you've done that you should be at if you've done it equally the belts are going to be at the both the same now what can happen is if you just say you just want to go zoom 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 and get one tight and it's like oh this is at 115 115 hertz and then you come over here and you notice that it doesn't take as many turns to get here and that's because these belts are coupled together Right, so this XY joint couples the belts together. So if I move this one, make this one tighter, right? I just pull this side, that side magically comes in. So when you do the belts, if you make this one really tight, this side is going to get tight, but it's going to be, you're going to do what's called belt induced racking. You're going to start taking this gantry, which is straight, and you're going to start angling it, right? So straight angle. So that's why you have to go back and forth. Um, then after that, what you do is you run belt shaper. You can run the, the clippers built in belt shaper with the axis of one comma negative one, all that stuff. It's in, it's in measure resonance, or you can do shake tune by Frix X and run belt shaper. And then that we will, you can fine tune it after that. But this is generally how you get the belts, um, even to begin with kind of a coarse thing. And then belt shaper will do the fine relative belt um uh comparison if you will